into the flower room. Got the HLGs and the one cob LED going. Let's see the blueberry on this side. There's the uh, Temo G's and the cookies. And then these two ladies down here are the Yolo Berries. And you can see we went ahead and we cleaned up the bottoms here. And over here. Yeah, I went ahead and defoliated everything up to the the uh, first layer of trellis here. Then we went ahead and we put on a second layer of trellis. You can see they're already they're already getting up there. These are uh, just starting week two of flower. And you can see the blue sticky traps. Those are for the thrips that we were finding in here. So, so far, no thrips over here. No thrips right here, which is another blueberry. They don't seem to like the blueberry plant. But we have found thrips in this back corner over here. You can kind of see it's real hard to get back there. And the, uh, plants don't get as much airflow back there which is why I think they were getting the thrips there and then also down here in the front in the front over here we we're we we're seeing some thrips still a little bit right here like on a couple of the bottoms but mostly right here and then centered in the back back there but so far I mean we went through and we defoliated you can kind of see through the canopy a little bit now as opposed to last time We've been hitting them heavy with the, the sprays and the bugs show up in a few days. We got the uh, Cucumeris and Hypoaspis. The Hypoaspis obviously for the soil, Cucumeris for all, all the, uh, the leaves here. But we've been hitting them heavy. We've been hitting them with uh, Nucum, which is like big time, but we couldn't find a shop around here that had big time. It's getting towards uh, October, so it's getting into the end of the season. Everyone's trying to keep the bugs away so no one had big time Nukem seems to work too it's about the same thing a little little bit different different uh, formula but this fan here has been doing pretty good you know, our little ghetto fan it actually worked out good because the fan was a little too tall so chopping it in half worked out perfect to be able to literally hit you can see where it's going right there and it just hits all the undersides of, up underneath here. We still gotta do some defoliation over here on the blueberry side. You can see how thick it is. But if you look over here, you can see we've thinned out a lot of the, the uh, undergrowth on this, this side with the chem OGs and the cookies. So we are still seeing some thrips. Well, I shouldn't say we still are because we haven't checked. Didn't check yesterday. Um, before we were seeing some dead ones and seeing a few live ones over there in the back corner there. So we're gonna go ahead and continue to probably spray one more time because we're starting the second week of flower and then that will be it. They'll get hit with some neem uh, mixed with karanja and then maybe some aloe vera mixed into that as like a wedding agent. And then that'll be it. They won't get any more sprays. And then a few days, few days on, uh, so that'll be let's see, uh, about four days after that, the bugs should show up. And then we'll be le releasing, um, you know, the, the live bugs in here, the predator mites, to uh, go ahead and take care of it. And that should hold us out. I mean, we're not seeing like a ton of them, and I still haven't even seen any on these sticky traps here. Um, but we had them up top just in case. We've got a lot of them down low. Try to catch them down there when they're up underneath. But I think the airflow is keeping them from moving, you know, spreading too too far. 
and then also we caught him early and we've been we've been batting him down early with uh spraying meme and big time exterminator on him so we've kind of got him contained to that corner we just have to keep pulling his bed out this bed down here it's on rollers so we can actually roll the whole bed out it's just real heavy so i have to wait for uh, mr brownfoot to get over here to uh, scout the plants and then also help me pull the bed out we just pull it out a couple feet and that allows me to be able to get on the backside and really get in there deep with the, the sprays and everything. So Mr. Brownfoot will be here tomorrow. We'll pull the bed out, spray the back, and um, that'll be our last spray. And then the bugs will show up. So, all right, just giving you the flower room update. The HLGs are still kicking ass in here. And uh, we'll keep you updated. See you on the next one.